Today we are looking at the Zanussi oil field radiator. At the time of recording, I picked this up from Amazon for just under £80. If you want to pick this up or know more about it, click the first link in the description box below. As we all know, everything is getting expensive. Rather than turning the heating on, which will heat the rooms that you do not need heating, that will cost you more. I know this isn't cheap, but it's cheaper than turning the heating on for the whole house if you just need heating in one room. So I thought I'll get something like this, which should be slightly cheaper. Uh, if you do have any other solutions, please do let us know in the comment section below. Me and the rest of the community will really appreciate that. I used to have a convector heater, really good, would heat the room up really quickly. The only issue with convector heaters, once you turn them off after five to 10 minutes, the room is cold again. As these type of heaters use oil, when you turn them off, the room stays warmer for longer. It has some information here. It has 11 fins, suitable for rooms up to 20 meters, 2.3 kilowatt power, three heat settings. So the first one is 1000 watt, 13,000 watt, and then the maximum is 23,000 watt. Touch control, it also has a remote power cord it does have the overheat and tip protection as well if you are a child or a pet accidentally knocks into it as soon as it goes to about there it will shut off that's a good feature that i'll take everything out before we start remember if you find the video helpful a like would be appreciated any questions ask me in the comment section below and please subscribe to watch more reviews This is everything that's included inside the box. A little bit of assembly is required. We need to attach these two. The remote control comes with two AAA batteries. Yeah. My little son's here, he's helping me. I'm making... Okay. So register for a free second year guarantee. People okay. An instruction booklet. A well written instruction booklet. Are you hold on to that. That's the cable. We don't need any tools, it's all done by hand. And we get this little key, place it on top, and just tighten it by hand. It's got a coat out there. It's easy to move it around. So there are two ways to control this, either by the touch screen or with the remote. If you want to control it with the touch screen, that's the on off. At the top, it's letting us know the temperature. Then we have the timer. Middle, that's the function key. So when it's showing us one indicator, that means it's on 1000. If you push it again, that's on 13,000. Then if I push it again, that's on 23,000. We can also decrease or increase the temperature and also set the timer as well. It does make a bleeping sound when you push the buttons. Same thing on the remote. So we have on off, then we have the M button there. So that's low, medium and high. Temperature pour down. You could also set the timer from the remote as well. Just to quickly mention, after one minute, the screen will go off. It is still on because you could see this little symbol there letting us know that the heating is on. My friends, this is me doing a voiceover. I did actually record some extra footage after using this for two weeks. I accidentally deleted that footage. I bought this to use in my office. It's been absolutely fine. I have had no issues at all. As I mentioned at the start of the video, this being an oil-filled heater, it does hold the heat. I am really happy with this. As I mentioned before, I will link it in the description box below. So if you are using this heater or any other type of heating, please let us know in the comment section below what your thoughts are. I hope this video has helped someone. If it has, give it a like and please do subscribe to watch more reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.